You guys see all those graphics cards right there? <laughs> Let's go. Yo, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys tips and guidance on how to get PC parts for super cheap. Not super cheap, but I'm gonna show you how to find good deals. So if you wanna get graphics cards or really any PC part, then watch this video. I got a couple deals lined up myself. I'm getting a bunch of graphics cards, hopefully maybe a CPU motherboard and just some other random things if I find any other deals out on the road. Come with me, let's get these deals. And when we come back home, I will talk to you guys about all the tips and just give you guidance and any tips that you guys may possibly need. It's pretty easy, but um, yeah, I'll give you one tip right now. Patience is key. Alrighty, I'm in the little old Toyota Corolla once again, and it is uh, 6.30 p.m. I'm on my way to go get those deals right now. I'm on my way to get the first sale right now. Also, here is another tip. Always be readily available. Your goal as a buyer is to make everything easier for the seller. If you are easier to sell to than another interested buyer, then the seller will be more likely to sell to you. Okay, we got that first deal. It's in the back there. Not sure how well you can see it, but it was a whole computer for around $210. Basically a whole computer minus the GPU. But that's what I'm waiting on right now. The guy's lacking. He sent like someone else. It's not even the original guy that's selling it. It's some like worker. I don't even know. If I get scammed, I get scammed, whatever. Also do your research. Find out the maximum you are willing to pay for a specific part and try your hardest to stick to that price point. Sometimes there are exceptions to that rule. For instance, the deal I'm getting right now. Yeah, this should be 1185. 1185. Yeah. All right. Holy smokes, guys. Oh, I was recording out there on my phone. Guys, I just got seven GPUs and I was looking at the 580s. I thought they were going to be four gigabyte versions, but they were four times two. So I got two 580s, eight gigabyte versions. For like super cheap but uh yeah let's go home my hands are super freezing can you guys feel them how cold are they all righty we are just barely making it home it's eight o'clock i think uh, if i remember correctly i think i left at 6 30. the second guy took forever focus on my face bro thank you you go thank you very much but yeah this the first guy took forever with the graphics cards had me waiting forever and then i picked up that computer well no yeah whatever let's just get all the deals inside you guys see all those graphics cards right there? <laughs> Let's go. So I just got everything inside. And no, these graphics cards weren't for a random person. Yeah, it wasn't the original guy. He sent one of his employees to sell them. But if you watch a previous video I did where I got two 1070s for the price of one, this is the same guy. He just had some more. So yeah, I trust that all of these work because the first time I picked up was at his house and they all worked then. So, uh, you know, if I know where he lives, why would he sell me something broken? Tomorrow I have more deals lined up. So yeah, I'm just going to go to sleep and then get more deals tomorrow. If you like the tips that I've been providing in the video so far, then drop a like. Hello guys. All right, so it's 10:13 uh, in the morning right now. I uh, woke up not too long ago, but yeah, I'm on my way to get those other deals, so let's go. A few moments later. Oh guys, a full PC, $50. Let's go. Okay, I just got home and everything works. I just hooked up the PC that I got today for $50. I hooked it up, 1050 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM, 120 gigabyte SSD, one terabyte hard drive, like a 750 watt power supply, and like an NAMD CPU of, it's an older one, but 50 bucks? That's insane. <laughs> and then I hooked up that PC that I got last night. I just threw one of the 1070s in there and everything works. That's a Ryzen 5 1600, 16 gigs of RAM, a gigabyte B350 motherboard, and a 250 gigabyte Samsung SSD. So yeah, all around those deals are all pretty solid. Today is Thanksgiving though, so tomorrow I'll sit down and go over all the final tips and just give you more tips. But by the time you are watching this, Thanksgiving is over. So go down in the comments right now and let me know how yours was. Several days later. Whew. All right, let's get into all the final tips. Also, got the colors for the, you know, the Christmas vibes because it is December now. Anyways, let's go. Tip number four, go off of instinct. If you feel like you're getting a good deal, then buy the part. Like, come on, man. If it feels like a good deal, then definitely buy it. If you feel like you can make profit, then definitely buy it. So yeah, tip number four, go off of instinct. Tip number five, don't buy with FOMO. If you don't know what FOMO stands for, it's a four letter acronym and it stands for fear of missing out. So if you're scared like, oh, it's a good deal, I'm gonna miss out on it. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Just don't buy every deal is basically what I'm trying to say. It'll save you money in the long run because more deals will come. So yeah, tip number five, don't buy with FOMO. Tip number five leads into tip number six, I would say. I said don't jump at every deal, and that's what tip number six is. Don't jump at every deal. More deals will come. If you just jump at every deal, you will end up wasting money because not every deal is a good deal. So just don't get everything. Tip number seven, you guys like that little handwork there? But yeah, you gotta be looking for deals 24 seven. You just gotta really dedicate time. If you wanna find deals, you have to try. You can't just be like, man, I never find deals, but I only look like once a month. Like, bro, you, you gotta try, all right? I'm on my phone all the time. Sure, I, I have no life, but hey, this is my life, you know? I mean, I still make time for other things, but you have to make time for this if you wanna find deals. So you just gotta look constantly. Tip number eight. I think, yeah, five plus three is eight. So tip number eight, it was the first tip and it is the final tip. Patience is key. I say it a lot, but I really mean it. You, just like tip number six, you can't jump at every deal. You just you just gotta have patience when doing this. You gotta find the right deals. You, you just gotta be patient, man. Yeah, those are all the tips that I have for you guys. If this video was informative or helped you in any way, let me know down in the comments which tip helped you the most. Also, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for the support. It is December now, and as some of you guys may know, my birthday is December 26th, and I wanted to hit 2,000 subscribers by my birthday. And uh, yeah, I already hit it, and it's not even my birthday, so I really wanna say thank you guys. Anyways, smash like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you loved it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.